He said, gird up thy loins now like a man. It basically, it's an action that denotes that you're about to perform some kind of a task or do some kind of a work. You know, and before you get to work, you know, you might unbutton your cuffs, roll up your sleeves just to not be encumbered by a long cut, long cut, long cut, long cut. But here's what people will often say, and this is what I think is so funny. A lot of people have this bizarre doctrine that Jesus died on the cross, and, and this has led people to the bizarre stupidity that we read in the Bible. I mean, that's just ridiculous. It's bizarre. And you say, where do they get this idea? From every single piece of Sunday school literature that's ever been produced on the planet? And here's what's funny. Jesus didn't die on the cross. He didn't die on the cross. But I mean, how bizarre of a teaching. What a shock. Amazing. This, I mean, this, this is a game changer, folks. They say, no, 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 you're crazy. You're, you know, you're a radical, you know, for teaching that. They want us to believe that Jesus died on the cross to liberate women from cuss. And then he realized, wait a minute, I might be, you know, I might be honest. But people who don't like that are going to resist that, even though it's just kind of common sense, in my opinion. You know, throughout it. Now, look, I, 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 I mean, when was the last time you saw Sunday school literature? with a guy in pants. You never see it. Would you say I'm in violation of that standard? Would anyone doubt that I'm in violation of that standard? You say, well, you're a radical. You know, and here's how pants, by the way, I know how pants were invented. This is how pants were invented. One day a guy actually grabbed his shirt and he started putting it on. He actually put his legs through the armholes of his shirt. The working man has always worn dresses. And you say, well, you're crazy. No, the Bible's real clear. There's a principle of saying, hey, you know, men have long hair. You know, women have short hair. Women wear pants. You know, men uh, don't. And you say, well, where does the Bible say that men don't wear pants? Well, here's what the Bible says. The Bible says that men could wear dresses. Women can wear everything. They can wear pants. They can wear skirts. They can wear dresses. They, they, women can wear everything. Nothing's off limits for women. But for men, it's only dresses. You know, I wear a skirt, too. And when I lived in Chicago, I would wear a big, long, flowing dress that went down, you know, close to my ankles. It's not a shirt. It's, you know, it's not a sweater. It's not a jacket. I mean, those things all are just basic pieces of clothing. The difference between a, a man's clothing and a woman's clothing is, is pants versus a skirt. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious. But, and when you, when you think about it that way, you know, you can see that, uh, well, our society is getting pretty weird. So if you want to base it on that, you know, you're in for a wild ride because, you know, our society has some pretty weird standards that are constantly changing. By the way, I just like the way my wife looks in a pair of pants. Better than she looks in a skirt. feminine clothing. They had pants back then. You know, if I could just get rid of this hole in the middle, you know, maybe change this. The Bible, the Bible. Isn't that radical? We're, the, we're like the Taliban over here. We're like radical Islam. I mean, they actually don't show their naked rear end publicly. They actually wear clothing that covers their body. What a concept. You know, and, and guess what? They actually look pretty cool. Why would you not want your wife to be feminine? You know, why would you want your wife to, you know? I mean, I'd rather have a feminine wife. It's more attractive. You know, uh, poured into a tight pair of pants. You know what? I'm not going to change because I, I don't believe in it. I don't think it's right. I think that there should be a difference. What does it mean to gird up your rear end? 